Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Kaki 2 by Ruthless Bag Company. And this is a bag that a while ago I got a ton of requests to review this bag. Actually, I got a ton of requests to review the Kaki by Ruthless Bag Company. When I went to order the Kaki, I saw they had just come out with the Kaki 2, and I thought, well, this must be a new and improved version of it. So I got the, the, the second edition of this bag. I probably should have stuck with the original, and I'll get into that, why I think that is here in a moment. And I'll try to explain to you what I think the difference of the two bags are from, I, I've never thrown the original Kaki, I've just thrown this one. But I'll try to explain what I think from, from kind of reading some stuff on their website, as well as getting feedback from players, what I think the difference of the two bags. So let's go ahead and dive in, let's break down this bag. We'll start with materials. This is a, it's a carpet bag. This carpet material here, this low side, I'm pretty confident it's the exact same as what Ultra uses on the Viper are. It looks identical to it. I've done quite a bit of comparing to the two. Pretty confident to say this is that exact same material as a Viper. So you're looking at about a five speed on it. You know, it, it, it starts out pretty fast, kind of a six speed or so. As it breaks down, as it starts to fuzz up, it'll slow down. And really, to me, it plays mo more like a five. You can really fuzz this material if you really want to slow it down, and you can slow it even slower. Now, this is a little smaller template than the Viper R. So to me, this does play a touch slower. To me, the smaller bags tend to play slower than those larger, floppier bags. So but I'm going to call it a five speed on the slow side. Fast side, this is the same fast side they use. This is the Pro Sniper, Viper, Deadhead fast side. Nine-speed material, crazy fast, you know, great for pushing, collecting. Um, it, it's a wonderful fast side material. We're looking at about a five and nine-speed bag. The fill in here is, I think it's a mixed fill. I feel like I, I feel quite a few beads in here, but there's also what feels like some flat fill. So I think it's a good mixed fill. I, I like the way the fill feels in here because you still kind of get a nice hand feel to it. Uh, but it's it still has some of that beat, so you get some motion, you get some action. The bag wants to kind of kind of bounce and hop a little bit, not a lot, but you do get some motion, which makes it great for shaping shots or like that. So mixed fill in here. Template wise, it's probably a medium template, maybe a medium just on the smaller side of medium. Uh, but I'm calling it a medium template. Now here's where the bag is a little different because to me this bag is very stiff. It is not a floppy bag. There's not a flop to this, a lot of flop. And this bag, these bags have been broken. I've had them for a while. I've thrown them a ton. They're just not getting any floppier. And what I think it is, I, I don't know. So on their website, they made a comment about they've improved the insides to make the bag uh, feel fuller, give it a fuller hand feel, and I think to give it less flop. And they've done that. What I don't know is I think that typically the carpet materials has, usually have a backing material to it. And they've got a pretty thick material on the backside of this. But I almost wonder, because this fast side feels a little thick, I don't know if they've got a backing material on both sides or what, but like when I put my hands here and try to squeeze through the bag and, and, and feel it, there is, it's very thick. It's thicker than normal. In fact, I brought up, I brought up my Swag Bags Chaos, same exact materials. And when I do that, it, it, you can tell there's a definitely a thickness different. Like this is a thicker, stiffer bag. In fact, you want to go to flop on these bags, you know, you can take the Chaos and go, that's a, that's a floppy bag. You know, the, the, these Chaos bags and they're and they're still pretty full they're not as floppy as the um as the viper r is but they're a floppier bag but when you take this cocky two bag i just like when i grab it and hold it up it just doesn't want to flop it is very stiff and and the downside to that stiffness on it is and i'll get more a little bit more play a bit playability on it but it's it's one it's the forgiveness of the bag so when i talk about bag forgiveness I talk about landing zones and how wide that how wide that rectangular shape is on the bottom of the board that you can land in and still put the bag in the hole and floppier bags have a large landing zone because as they go by the hole, that corner will dip in, grab it, spin it, and pull it back in. When you have a stiffer bag that doesn't dip in the hole, it just scoots past the hole. It just scoots. It may kind of clip and grab and spin, but it sets in the back. Like it doesn't grab and spin around and come back in. In order to grab, you've got to get a lot more of the bag in the hole, which means that landing zone gets smaller and smaller. And this really has more like a smaller than normal, like almost like a traditional carpet bag, a fat kind of puffy carpet bag type. It's a really small landing zone. It, it can be a little frustrating because if I'm a little off left or right, it just slides past the hole or spins around. It doesn't want to grab and come back into play. It stays out of play, which makes the bag, you, you've got to be really precise with your accuracy, really precise with your aim to make sure you're putting this bag up there. The other thing I had is is hole friendliness. Like when this bag is up around the hole, normally bags kind of want to hang in, they're dipping in. So when you come in to collect the next bag fast or so whatever it is, you can catch it and pull it in. This bag doesn't dip in, so I'm going to collect. What it does is it just kind of spins it out of the way and the bag's on. They're very hard to collect when they're sitting up around, even on the sides and stuff. They're very hard to collect bags. Now, if you got a bag in front, they're wonderful for pushing because they're so stiff, they don't accordion up. They You just clip, they'll go in. But when the bag's a little off to the side or it's up hanging by the side of the hole, they're still very tough to get in. I I left a lot of bags hanging around the hole more than I typically would, which which a lot of that I attribute most of that to the stiffness, the firmness of this bag. Now, that being said, if you don't like a floppy bag, 
this is the bag for you. And I think that's what that's what Ruthless designed this bag for is people who don't like floppy bags. But I will say beware. You've got to be very precise with your aim. If you get a bag like this, it's this stiff because it's it's not that forgiving around the hole. And it was very frustrating to me. And that's where I think from reading and talking to people, I think the original cocky is a floppier bag. I don't know if it's a larger template, but it's a little bit looser, floppier bag. And I think when you get that looser, floppier bag, you gain more of that forgiveness, you gain more of that hole friendliness. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump, and we'll jump more into playability. So I'm going to start talking about that some here. But the, the, the play of this bag is, it's a bag I found for me, it's a bag I just wanted to run bag after bag after bag in the hole. And like I said, it's a collectible bag you throw in front. But the problem I had with throwing blocks on this is it, it, the, the bags just, it, I don't know, I felt like because they pushed, a lot of times I would push bags out of the way more than push them in the hole. Now, if I had a blocker up at the hole, I could take it in. But if I had a, I had a level two, level three blocker and I would try to come in, especially slick side and collect, what was happening is it would it would shove the bag out of the way. It didn't want to push through the bag as well. So they became a little tougher to collect. And again, you pushed them up and got them near the hole. They still were very difficult to collect. So I, I, I found for me, I didn't want to leave a bag to chance to have to collect later. I just, when I had a, a bag to collect, I felt like I, I didn't have the confidence to collect as I normally would. And I talk about cornhole being a confidence sport, a mental sport that, you know, when you put more bags in the hole, you're it's more likely you're going to put the next bag in the hole. The problem I have with these bags is is if I was, like I said, a little off one way or the other, the bag would miss. And then I felt like I couldn't get that bag. And my confidence kept dropping the more bags I missed. And just, I, I never felt like I was throwing this bag that I just felt in my mind, I'm going to put this bag in or I'm going to collect that bag. So I felt like I had to throw these bags a little harder and just run hole for hole and hope they would go in and hope I didn't miss. Like I said, again, if the bag missed a hole, it was my fault. It wasn't the bag's fault, right? I was off. But when you get some of these, you get some, there's some bags out there that are just forgiving enough that even when you're off, they go in the hole. I love throwing those bags. This is not one of those. I just, I struggled to throw this. This is not a bag I enjoy throwing. It was a bag that, honestly, honestly, I, I, I take this bag out probably four or five different times to do this review. And every time I go to throw it, I just, I just didn't feel right throwing it. I just couldn't figure, figure it out. And I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe it's me. I grabbed a different bag. It felt right. I do that review. And after about the fifth time or so, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not me. Maybe it's the bag. And so I went ahead to the review. And, and trust me, these bags have been thrown quite a bit. They've been broken in. They've been treated like the materials. I don't think they're going to soften up. I don't know. Maybe you throw them for another 20 hours. Maybe they will soften up some. I just, I think this bag is designed to be a stiffer bag for people who don't like floppy bags, which is not me. I like a floppier bag for the most part. So again, if you like a stiffer bag, maybe you like the cocky too. I would recommend if you're going to get one of these, try the cocky. Maybe I'll get a set of those down the road at some point to try out. Right now, I'm just, you know, at this point, not real happy with the cocky too. I'm not going to recommend it to you guys for all the reasons I said. I think there are better bags out there. Even if you don't like a really floppy bag, I think you can still get a bag that has some flop to it that's that's going to play a little better. Uh, that leads me to availability of these bags. Ruthless Bag Company does have a website. It's ruthlessbags.com. The link description for you guys. These bags are 80 bucks. I believe that the cockies are 80 bucks. They do they do have the ACO stamp on them. I don't know if I mentioned that. So they are ACO stamped. They're 80 bucks and it was like 10 bucks shipping. So 90 bucks all in for these bags. Uh, the, the, I think they're like a cocky is like 75, I guess. I, and I don't know if, I don't know if they're keeping the cocky lineup or if this is going to be the new bag. I don't know. Um, at the time I bought these, I thought this was going to replace the cocky, but it looks like they're still available. And I bought these several months ago. So I don't know, but anyway, 80 bucks plus $10, 90 bucks, um, all in shipped to you. So check them out. Ruthlessbags.com. If you've thrown these bags or if you've thrown the original cockies, I'd love to hear your feedback. Whether you agree with me or not, what, what if you like them, I really love the people that you like them and what you like about these bags. Um, Cause you know, I, I wanted to like these bags. I just struggled to do that. So anyway, I thank you guys for your support and I thank you for watching. <laughs>